Emily Willis' family recently shared a heartbreaking update on the former adult film star's health after she suffered cardiac arrest and slipped into a coma. According to Daily Star, Willis, real name Litsy Laura Benulos, first fell ill around while in rehab. The former adult performer's stepfather, Michael, reached out to TMZ to share an update on her condition. According to the outlet, Willis is still in a partial vegetative state after waking from her coma. They shared that Willis can track things with her eyes, smile, and register emotions in conversation. While these are surprising improvements, he shared that doctors shared the heartbreaking news that they don't expect further improvement. Aside from this devastating news, they are also clueless as to how the cardiac arrest was caused while in rehab. Her early toxicology reports showed no drugs in her system, but officials were waiting for a full report before sealing the door on the cause. The family is plotting to have Willis relocated E.T. George, Utah, to be closer to her family during her ongoing care. The GoFundMe for Willis has reached its $60,000 goal and passed it by close to $10,000, with a total of 1.2 thousand donations. What happened to Emily Willis? Emily Willis has been struggling with many issues for a while now. Many assumed because they heard that she went to rehab dials for drugs. While I won't deny that she has had that problem in the past, we don't know if that's the case this time. What I can say is that she has an eating disorder. About eight days after entering rehab, they call 911. She suffered a cardiac arrest while in treatment. She was unresponsive at a hospital in a coma. This is when we all found out about her condition and it was immediately assumed because of her past she overdosed. Although her family remains hopeful, I'm hearing they told her families to prepare for the worst. Did she OD? Did she overdose? Although originally thought to be the case, sources are now saying it that isn't true. Her early toxicology report has come back negative, meaning nothing was in their system. Then why is she in the coma? Emily Willis was said to have weighed only 80 pounds when she entered rehab in February. She is 5 feet 5 inches tall. That means she's seriously underweight and presumably malnourished. Electrolyte imbalances are known to cause heart attacks. According to the DMI chart, Emily Willis should weigh anywhere from 114 to 149 pounds. At 80 pounds, her BMI is 13.31, which is considered underweight. A BMI of, of below 13.5 can lead to organ failure. There are different tiers uh, of anorexia based on BMI ranges. A mild is 17.5, moderate 16.99, Several is 15.99, and different and extreme anorexia is f less than 15. Based on the chart, it meant that Emily Bliss was suffering from extreme anorexia. How did she have a cardiac arrest? She's so young. See, it appears that during the cardiac arrest, her brain suffered from a lack of oxygen, leading to significant damage, which is why she is not responding. Her current state, characterized by a lack of response, and inability to wake up, such as in, she has sustained an anoxic brain injury, complicating her condition with severe withdrawal symptoms, combined with ketosis due to her low body weight and state of starvation, have created a particularly dangerous situation. Regret regrettably, the prognosis seems grim, but the reco with, with recovery unlikely. At this point, the focus may need to shift to pr providing comfort in her remaining time, the human body has a finite capacity to withstand such levels of stress. Emily Willis, this is, well about Emily Willis's case against Gianna Dior. Her lawsuit against Gianna Dior is still ongoing. A trial date was set for a November 18, 2024 jury trial. However, that status may now change due to her current medical condition. It is unknown at this time if 
is unknown at this time if the trial can continue without her. She do hope it can move forward in her honor. She deserves her justice against what they did to her. Sadly, Emily Willis made a deal with Adria Ray, so she is no longer in the lawsuit. It's just Emily Willis and Gianna Dior now. The deal was Adria Ray would tweet a pre-drafted apology. She did that, she did, and that technically satisfied the requirements of those settlement. Then Adria Ray quickly deleted said tweet, never really having to own up to what she did to Emily Willis. The tweet basically said she made a mistake in not checking, checking the validity of her statement before tweeting about something someone else told her. That would have been fine had she kept the tweet up, but she did not. There's uh, no other, there's nothing more that I can, uh, there's no more news about Emily. This is sad.